We have some news just coming in. The TMC mouthpiece has likened Abe's death to Agni Pat. TMC says Abe killed by army personnel for getting no pension. Modi government following Japan-like system. Center employs youth in the army without benefit. The TMC mouthpiece Jago Bangla is connecting former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's murder with Agni Pat there, saying Modi government wants to do the same with Agni Pat. Employ youth in the army in a short term who won't get post retirement benefits. Says Abe was killed by a former Japanese army personnel who wasn't getting pension. EMC wading into this controversy from Japan over the brutal murder of Shinzo Abe, saying that the Modi government is following the same system in Japan. Suryagni Roy is getting us more on that story from Kolkata. Suryagni. Take us to the details of what exactly is the mouthpiece trying to really get at. When at this point in time, there are very little details about the murderer of Shinzo Abe. Japan really hasn't reported in greater depth or detail. Or have the investigators also have not really spoken about the motive of this murder. Well, absolutely. You know, but uh, if you look at the mouthpiece of the Trinamool Congress, which is Jago, Pangla, uh, Jago Bangla, uh, the headline today read uh, on the first page uh, that, you know, they drew a connection between the the, uh, the assassin that happened, the assassination that happened in Japan of Shinzo Abe, former Prime Minister, and uh, of the Agnivir scheme over here in India. Uh, the Trinamool, you know, the, the person who's been arrested has been identified as one uh, uh, Tetsuwa Yamagami. Now, what is being said is that Yamagami was, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, he was he was a defense personnel and uh, worked, uh, uh, you know, worked under the maritime defense forces of Japan's army. Now, what the Trinamool Congress is claiming is that after three years of service, Yamagami lost his job. This is what uh, the entire uh, article is all about and how it draws a connect with uh, the ugly weed schemes. Uh, then, after three years of his service, he lost his job. He wasn't even getting pension. And that is why maybe, you know, he shot uh, the uh, former Prime Minister, that is Shinzo Abe, yesterday. However, there Bimita is... Uh, I'll just come back to you for more on that, trying to get the BJP in for a reaction. And Shehzad Punawala is now joining us. Shehzad Punawala, what do you make of what has been said by the TMC in its mouthpiece, saying that the Modi government is following the same policy in Japan, the same system in Japan, and the death, and the murder of Shinzo Abe was because of an Agnipath-like scheme. This is the lowest level of politics, Neha, because there are two elements involved in this. One, the fact that you are castigating an entire bunch of patriotic people, the Agnivis, who are joining for Mahabharati's Seva, and you are making them out to be brutal murderers. Somebody calls them as Naxalites, as Bhupesh Bhagel did. And the other element is that on an issue as sensitive as the death of a former Prime Minister of Japan, who had built great relations with India, a world leader whose, world, whose entire world is mourning their loss, at that point of time, instead of con condemning this and instead of standing shoulder to shoulder with the government on the day of national mourning, you are using that as an occasion to play petty politics to score petty political points. You know, the only other person spinning a narrative around Shinzo Abe's death is the Global Times. And I don't know why the Congress and the Trinamool Congress are hell-bent in competing with the Global Times. You see the likes of Udit Raj, Surendra Rajput, now this TNC mouthpiece, I'm told. So it seems that there are two elements, the Global Times and the Global Times franchisees here, who want to spin a narrative, even though the Japanese haven't confirmed any cause of the death in the sense, the motivation of the death, even now, they are being tight yet they haven't informed the world about what are the motivations. So how does the Trinamool Congress, Global Times and the Congress Party know what is the information they have or what is the date in which they are spinning this narrative? It is unfortunate the death of a great world leader should not be a subject matter of politics, but then this is the Trinamool Congress which politicized the surgical strike, politicized Pulwama, politicized Balako. This is a party that uh, always justifies even actions and abuses against the Prime Minister. So, you know, yes. nothing better can be expected from You know, I was party. coming to that. In fact, uh, there is very little information and there is very little that we know about the motive of this brutal crime uh, that we witnessed yesterday. Really, the video has gone completely viral. The TMC seems to be jumping the gun. Essentially, it does appear that they are preempting all of this. The authorities have in Japan have not spoken about the exact motive of this murder that has not been established yet. Shaza. Absolutely. When the motives have not been established, and whatever be the motives, why is the TMC or the Congress trying to echo the voice of Global Times? That I understand the Congress has an MOU. 
but I don't know of the MOUs that may or may not be between TMC and the Chinese. But having said that, I think that an occasion like this, an occasion which is somber, where we are all deeply mourning the loss of this great leader, like the people of Japan are, I think this occasion could have been spared for petty, trivial politics, but then true to their DNA of Congress and Tiramu, they even politicized the vaccine drive and COVID pandemic. So nothing better can be expected of them. They don't want to take action on Mahua Mitra, so perhaps they are finding straws in the wind to clutch on to. Okay, we just uh, hope the TMC comes out and tells us about why they have said what they have said and on what basis have they established the motive of the crime and linking this horrific crime to India as well. Shazad, I'm thanking you for the moment.